Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, video. This is the hashtag not my YouTube tag. This was created by Gunnarola and Megan Tonjes. And so I just decided I was going to do this video. I haven't been on YouTube that long, but I, uh, I have some opinions I guess I can give and uh, take them as you will. If you guys want to do this video, the questions are on Megan's video and I, they're probably on Gunnarola's video too. Um, okay, so... I have the questions here, and there are 11 different questions, so I'm going to go through them and kind of answer them. Um, the first question is, how do you find out about new videos? The way that I find out about new videos is on the, the mobile YouTube app. There's that notification setting. Um, for most of the people I'm subscribed to, I have that turned on. So when they upload a video, it sends me like, I just got one, and it's from like, it says, this person just uploaded a video, and then it says the name of the video. So, um, that's what I use the most, I would say. Secondly, when I'm on my computer at night, I use the subscriptions tab on the YouTube website. Um, and then thirdly, people that recommend videos, I usually watch those, whether it be Whitney or whether it be on Twitter or Facebook or anywhere, like social media, I'll watch them from there. But I would say the main one is on my phone. The next question is, what's a feature of the site that you miss? So like I told you guys, I haven't been on YouTube that long, but there are a couple things that I do miss. One of the major things that I miss is when YouTube wasn't so... <sighs> what's the word I'm looking for? Congested? Is that the word I'm looking for? I miss the old school YouTube, and even though I haven't been uploading videos that long on YouTube, I have been watching videos on YouTube since it began. Um, and since then, YouTube has shifted from being a platform for the creator, by the creator, and of the creator. And it has gone to these major media sites like BuzzFeed, ABC, NBC, um, The Daily Shows, The Voice, you know, American Idol, all of these different things are now on YouTube and they're making, they're putting daily videos on YouTube and when I say daily videos, that's like 10, 20. I was following and I was subscribed to The Voice for a while, they upload like at least 10 times in a row. And so that really congests my subscription box. And so when I'm looking through to find a video, um, there'll be like five of those and I'll see one. And then there'll be another five and I'll see one of someone else. So I do miss that. Um, I also miss the rating, how it was stars before instead of thumbs up and thumbs down. Uh, but I would say that and then <laughs> apparently there's a lot I miss. Another thing I miss is authentic collabs. And when I say that, I mean collabs that happen because people actually wanted to do them. This isn't throwing shade at anyone because everyone can do whatever video they want. And if you collab with someone for a different reason, whether it be money, whether it be subscribers, whatever, that's fine with me. But there's a lot of times now on YouTube where you'll see two people collabing and it's like they're, I don't even know what's a word. It's like it's super awkward. Like the video itself is super awkward, but you know they're just kind of doing it because their management suggested it to them and they have similar subscriber counts. Like I said, it's fine if people want to do that because they want to build their audience, but when you do it and it's super awkward, and if you don't like the person, <laughs> that's what makes it super awkward for some of these people, I think, um, then I don't, I mean, I don't like that. I, I feel like we should go back to the old school collab if you want to, not because you have to. So that's definitely a, a feature of the site I missed, but that's not necessarily a feature of the site. Some of those things aren't necessarily features of YouTube, they're just things that have happened on YouTube. Um, so uh, as far as like YouTube specific features, I would say the rating thing is the one I miss the most. Um, being able to make a video response I miss and there was... <sighs> The homepage looked a lot different, and I think it was all your subscriptions before. It wasn't just trending videos. Because now when I get on there, all of the trending videos are The Voice, and The Daily Show, and like, whatever show, and BuzzFeed, and all their 756 channels. I miss being able to see my subscriptions, the people that I'm subscribed to, and the videos that I care about. So that's one of the features that I miss the most.
Question three is, what's your least favorite trend on YouTube? Um, my least favorite kind of video on YouTube is pranks. I can't stand them. I have the worst secondhand embarrassment ever. So when people upload pranks, I don't like it. Especially when they upload pranks and call them social experiments, just so they can get away with it. I don't like that at all. Okay, so the next question is, what's the most drastic thing you've ever done to get views or subs? I haven't done really anything that drastic. I, uh... I promote my videos a lot on social media, whether it be like my own personal Facebook, uh, that's probably the most drastic thing I've done, or like Twitter. Um, <laughs> I guess something that I've done that may be drastic is I tweet out my videos and tag like big YouTubers in it, like, <laughs> like Tyler Oakley. I'll be like, hey, do you want to watch my video? Here you go. Um, but other than that, I don't really do anything. Like, I don't use clickbait titles and I don't use clickbait thumbnails. Mine are all generic and like very general. They're not very specific to the video, which I'm gonna work on because it's not, this is not to promote clickbait because I don't like it at all, but, um, in this world that we're living in now of YouTube 2016, almost 2017, I feel like in order to have your video watched, you have to have something very specific about the video that's going to attract the audience or an audience. And so I'm going to have to revamp the way that I do my titles and my thumbnails. Um, I'm gonna try and not make it too clickbaity, but it's going to have to be something so that people can at least find my videos. Question number five is, do you have any regrets on YouTube, whether it be content, strategy, or personal? Um, content, I was making a lot of weight loss videos before when I was doing the whole weight loss thing. Um, I don't really regret that, but I regret maybe people knowing me on YouTube by those videos. Um, personal, I would say there's there's been at least 10 videos that I've removed off of YouTube just because they weren't good quality or they had a lot of thumbs down. And by a lot, I mean like four. <laughs> so go easy on me. Um, but I regret removing those videos because I feel like why, why would I have removed those? Like, why did I remove those thinking that they're bad videos just because four people thumbs down the video? There is a specific video, and I'm actually, after this video, you know what? I'm going to go and I'm going to upload all of those back on YouTube because I saved those. I'm going to upload them all. That's one of my biggest regrets, I'll say, from day one is uploading or um, taking down some of those videos because there's no reason to. Like, there's so many bad videos on YouTube, and my videos are, like, the tamest of the tame. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to upload those. As far as strategy, I, I don't think I regret anything for my strategy. Um, it's just trying to get noticed in the world of everyone that's making videos is really hard. So, I don't know. Question number six is, how has your channel changed since one year ago? Um, in the last year, I've only uploaded a handful of videos, so my channel has not changed at all. However, yesterday, I did spend about, I would say about four hours in total uploading or just changing the channel art and my profile picture and making some new playlists. So if you want to check those out, do. But otherwise, my content... Um, that, I guess, has changed a little bit because it went from me making, like, only weight loss videos to now I'm doing, uh, daily videos and I'm doing vlogmas. So, uh, make sure to check those out. But that's how my channel has changed. It hasn't changed much. Question number seven is, what do you do to support your favorite creators? The, the main thing I do is I share their videos, whether it be on my personal Facebook page, on uh, Twitter, on Tumblr, on any social media site. Um, I do that just because that's an easy way to do it and there's a lot of people that could possibly see them. Um, and then I, I make sure to thumbs up the videos, I make sure that I leave a comment on videos. There are ways to support channels like Patreon that I haven't used yet, but I'm, I'm very seriously considering in 2017 starting to support some of these channels. Be just because I feel like there's a lot of people on YouTube that are underrated. There's, there's a lot of content they could be creating if it wasn't because of, you know, whatever they're dealing with, like financially or whatever. Um, I feel like in order for me to see better videos and to see more content from these creators, 
I should help them out if I can. So I'm going to start doing that. And I think, um, I think you all should consider it if you're able to, but, uh, even if it's like a dollar a month, that's maybe what I'll do is I'll give a dollar a month to like five different Patreons. Um, so yeah, I, I urge you to consider it and, uh, just to keep sharing videos of people you like and then keep commenting on them. I feel like that maybe helps those videos get noticed more. So if you leave a comment, even if it's like, hey, I love this video, I just subscribed to your channel, I'm gonna check out the rest, um, I love your work, or something like that. Okay, so question number eight is, how do you define success? I've never really known success, so my definition of success at this point would be uh, to be able to do what I love, whether it be creating videos, editing videos, producing videos, um, anything like that, and not having to worry about money, and not having to worry about traveling or anything like that. Um, I would love to be able to create videos on YouTube daily and have that be my only income source. At this point, that's absolutely not the case, but hopefully in the future maybe that'll become the case. I don't know. And maybe, maybe that won't even become the case. Maybe it'll just lead me to some different opportunities, like editing or something like that. So I would define success as being able to do what you love and not having to worry about the financial part of it or anything really that comes along with that. Uh, question number nine is, are you happy? I would say at this point, yeah, I am happy. Um, I'm getting to a happier place, I think is what I should say. I haven't been happy with my YouTube channel for a good couple of years. But now I'm starting to upload videos and I'm editing them the way that I want to. And I'm releasing content that I like, that I care about. And I'm not doing only one thing like weight loss or, or something like that. So I would say I'm happy, but I'm getting to a happier place. Question number 10 is why do you do YouTube and how long do you think you'll keep doing it? For right now, I'm doing YouTube because it's a hobby and it's something that I love. I love creating videos. I love sharing them with people. Um, it's a creative outlet for me and it's something that I can do in my spare time. As far as how long I'll be doing YouTube or creating videos and uploading them to YouTube, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's something I will do as long as it's fun, as long as it's something I enjoy. If it's ever something that I don't enjoy or that takes up too much of my time or whatever, that's when I will stop. I hope it never comes to that place because, I don't know, I just, I want to keep doing it and I love it. I love it so much. I wish, I wish I, <laughs> I wish it wasn't so hard to become a name on YouTube now and I know that, like, it's probably not if your content is great, but I don't know, man, I want to be able to make daily videos on here. Like, not even necessarily just YouTube videos, like, Everything that comes with that, I want, that's what I'm working towards, is like being able to do what I love, whether, like I said, whether it's YouTube videos or just editing videos or doing something like that, and being able to sustain a lifestyle from doing that. Um, yeah, that, I mean, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so the last question on this is, has YouTube made your life better or worse? For me, YouTube has made my life better just because there's so many different videos that you can watch on here um, that inspire me beyond words. There's so many different videos for so many different people. Um, so I would say it's made my life better. As far as uploading and creating content, I would say it's made my life better because I've been able to focus on like editing skills and make those better. Um, I have been able to connect with people that I wouldn't have before YouTube. Um, so yeah, it's definitely made my life a lot better. And I hope that it continues that path and I hope it doesn't go to something where it's just for like, mainstream media or something like that. I want to be able to create videos like we could in 2006 when it started. Um, and I want to be able to upload and not just get lost. Okay, so that was my uh, hashtag not my YouTube tag. Um, I need to tag three people to do this and I'm going to tag, let's see, I want to tag Mark Miller. I want to tag Grace Helbig and I want to tag, um, who else do I want to tag? I want to tag... <laughs> this is like the hardest decision I've ever made. Um, 
I want to tag Hannah Hart. We'll see if Hannah does this. I highly doubt any of them will do it, but that's fine. So if you guys want to make a video with the um, not my YouTube tag, you definitely should. And if you do, leave a comment below and let me know where that's at. Or um, if you want to just answer the questions, I'll leave those in the description below. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and maybe even share it with your friends and your family. And I was going to say your cats, but they don't YouTube. Maybe they do. All right. I will see you guys in Vlogmas. Goodbye. <laughs>